Welcome back into DSI and we start this news break with some developing news that's just into the 47 ABC newsroom. Delaware State Police announcing that they have just wrapped up a two day multi agency operation in Dover in response to recent crime in that area. We're told the operation targeted violent crime in the Capitol Park neighborhood where there was a string of criminal activity during the last two weeks of December. Although there were no arrests made through investigations, police were able to learn that weapons and drugs were being hidden in the back of residences. You're seeing some of that on your screen right now. Ultimately, police were able to locate a loaded pistol, a loaded assault rifle, a ballistic vest, and over 650 baggies of heroin. Well, moving on today it was a day for the history books in Wilmington, Delaware. The first African American woman was sworn into the Delaware Supreme Court earlier today. The Honorable Tamika Montgomery Reeves was sworn into her first term as Justice of the Delaware Supreme Court. Before that, Justice Montgomery Reeves was Vice Chancellor of the Delaware Court of Chancery for four years. Currently, she serves as a member of the Delaware Community Foundation Board of Directors, and prior to that, she served as a subcommittee member of the Delaware Access to Justice Commission. Justice Montgomery Reeves also received recognition for her pro bono contribution to the Prisoners' Rights Project. It's a dreary night out there across Del Marva. We're going to keep that rain in the forecast for most of the night tonight. This is our Morse roofing and siding sky cam showing that the ground is wet at this moment. A couple of weather watchers calling in. We're sitting at 51 for Ted and Millsboro, 50 for Chucky and Lewis. Temperatures in other locations, 53 in Salisbury, 52 in Wallops, but 46 in Dover. So a little bit cooler as you head to the north. Now watch our future temperature trend. As we head into the day on Saturday, we could get close to 60 degrees during the afternoon, but some off and on showers. And then as we head into Sunday, this is our forecast high temperature right around 43, 44, maybe 45, but it's going to be breezy. So when you factor in the wind behind this cold front, this is what it's going to feel like Sunday afternoon, the upper 30s. So it's going to be a cold day on Sunday, especially when you compare it to the past couple of days. That southwest wind continues on Saturday, keeping it mild, but the winds shift out of the northwest on Sunday. Behind that cold front, winds between 10 and 20 could be gusting upwards of 30. So right now, a live look at satellite radar, showing scattered showers out there, some moderate rain in Talbot, Queen Anne's County, and parts of uh, Caroline County. And all this rain is coming out of the deep south. Plenty of rain to get through. This is all heading east northeast, and we're going to be dealing with this uh, through the early morning hours of your Saturday. So periods of rain tonight into Saturday morning. Temperatures though in the 50s, so a mild overnight. As we head into your Saturday, we could come close to 60, especially if we have a peak of sunshine. Some scattered showers in the forecast, mainly in the morning and in the evening. Looks like during the middle of the day, just like today, we could get a bit of a dry break. So Futurecast times it out for us. The showers continue into tonight. Then we dry out a little bit as we head into your Saturday, maybe a peak of sun, and then we're going to look at another a chance of some rain here during the evening hours. So 7, 8 o'clock on Saturday, we are expecting some showers to come back, and then those showers get out of here, and the sun comes back as we head into Sunday. But of course, with that sunshine, it's going to get colder, especially with the breeze uh, behind that cold front. Looks like some snow showers possible to our north Sunday night. That will miss us. We're looking at more sunshine as we head into your Monday, and it's going to stay a little bit on the cool side too. Now, with the breezy winds on Sunday, again, that high of 45, it will feel more like the 30s. We do rebound a little bit, 52 on Tuesday. A cold front comes Tuesday night. That gives us a few showers. And then we're down into some chilly temperatures on Wednesday and Thursday again, and it's going to be a cold Wednesday with that breezy wind. But look at this. By Friday, we're warming back up to 56 degrees. So overall, the seven day forecast is average to above average when it comes to temperatures. You're watching Delmarva Sports Insider on 47 ABC. Keep it here. We'll be right back. Hi, I'm Jared Vasquez from the Salisbury School and you're watching Delmarva Sports Insider.